All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's on the Power. So in this video, I want to talk about Arnold Schwarzenegger and the man who really discovered Arnold. Now, Joe Weider, um, who is obviously the founder of the IFBB, is the guy that usually gets credit for discovering or promoting or initially you know, being the catalyst for Arnold Schwarzenegger's um, very successful career as a bodybuilder, politician, actor, um, and being the guy that quote-unquote discovered him. That is actually not the case. So the man that actually discovered Arnold was a man by the name of Albert Busek. Now, Albert Busek first discovered Arnold Schwarzenegger back in 1965 at one of Arnold's very first competitions called The Best Built Man in Europe. Now, this was a competition that Albert was the co-promoter of. So at the age of 18, Arnold Schwarzenegger came in and won that show, beating a guy by the name of Franz Dissinger. And Franz was basically the best bodybuilder in Germany at the time, and Arnold Schwarzenegger came out of nowhere and beat him at the age of 18. So immediately after Arnold won that show, Albert took him out to dinner. He took him to a restaurant. And they talked about you know, Arnold's hopes and dreams of moving to America and his dreams of becoming successful in bodybuilding, and he wanted to be a movie star. So after that dinner, Albert convinced Arnold to come work for him at his gym in Munich, Germany. At, it was called Universum Sports Studio. And Munich was obviously a very big city at the time. Um, so that was kind of Arnold's first step into moving into a bigger um, spotlight in a sense. So Arnold basically worked as a personal trainer at that gym, and he actually lived at that gym when he was 19 years old until he could eventually afford an apartment um, and he would move out of the gym. Then shortly after moving to train at that gym, he would compete in the Mr. Universe competition where he would play second to Chet Yorton. That would be one of the biggest competitions that Arnold would do um, early on in his career and would really catalyze his fame. So after that 66 universe, that is when Albert Busek told Weider about Arnold Schwarzenegger, saying that it was about to become the Arnold Schwarzenegger era in bodybuilding after that 66 universe. So Albert was actually the man that introduced Joe Weider to Arnold Schwarzenegger and really began, you know, the massive relationship that, you know, Arnold and Joe would have um, that would really make Arnold the man that he was and that he is today. So then one year later in 1967, Arnold would come back and win the 1967 Mr. Universe competition. And then that really got Joe Weider's attention. But Joe still did not offer Arnold to come to the United States. That same year in 1967, um, Albert Busek was the publisher of a magazine called The Sport Review. And he put Arnold on the cover of that magazine. So in 1968, Joe Weider and Albert Busek sat down in Dusseldorf, Germany to talk about bringing Arnold Schwarzenegger to the United States. And then after that meeting, Arnold would go on to win the 1968 NABA Pro Universe. And after that competition is when Joe Weider offered him a paid invitation to come compete in Miami at the 1968 IFBB Mr. Universe. So as many of you know from the video that I did on the 1968 Mr. Universe, that was the show that Frank Zane beat Arnold in. Um, so at this show... The fact that Zane beat Arnold, that is what made Joe Weider realize that a more refined, more conditioned, chiseled Arnold Schwarzenegger um, would be just an incredible force to be reckoned with. Because at that show, Arnold's conditioning was not the best. He was just kind of a big guy. But Joe Weider really saw his potential at that show. That's when Joe Weider offered him his first contract and invited him to California to do some photo shoots and work for him, um, which initially enabled Arnold to move to California and live there for the first time. So really, Albert Busek is the reason that Joe Weider took notice of Arnold and really the primary reason um, why Joe Weider started to pay attention to him. And probably, if not for Albert, when he lost to Frank Zane, Joe Weider probably wouldn't have thought that much of Arnold. Um, and Arnold might not have even been at that 1968 uh, universe in Miami had it not been for Albert Busek. And Joe Weider might not have ever brought him to the United States um, if not for Albert. So I just thought that would be a cool piece of bodybuilding history because obviously anything about Arnold Schwarzenegger is a major piece of bodybuilding history because typically anything that Arnold does is tied with Joe Weider and tied you know in the in the roots in the beginning of the IFBB. Um, so it's all very very relevant to bodybuilding history. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Nick Strength and Power signing out.